Hey folks, this is Mike from Guns and Hunting. Uh, got done cutting the grass, and I thought I'd make a quick video. My protege here, he's a uh, 10 month old lab pup, Cody. Uh, gonna make a little video on teaching your dog how to sit. There you can he, you can tell he knows where the kibble is. He smells it in my hand. Uh, I'm not saying my way's the best. I'm just telling you that this is the way I was taught. Uh, if you ever watched any of my other videos, uh, I had two other videos I had made about uh, a pair of shotguns I inherited from my pheasant hunting buddy. Uh, he passed away in 2021, complications due to COVID. Uh, he was training dogs probably for about 50 years, and he was pretty good at it. You know, my first dog uh, had a golden retriever, and I was having little problems with him. Of course, I was a rookie, didn't know anything, and I got a hold of him. He was a member of the Isaac Walton League, which I am too. And uh, we just got together, and he just started helping me with the dogs and you know, helped me train my dogs and we just became good friends. You know, we worked the dogs together and you know, fished and went bird hunting together. And like I said, I'm not saying my way is the best or his way. This is just what worked for me. Come here, bud. Sit, good boy. Now I'm gonna try to show you how to do this. I'm gonna try to get him up on all fours. I'm gonna show you. Come here. Cody, sit. Boy. Now, if you look close, when he was up on all fours, I had the kibble just right above his nose, and I gave the command, sit. Sit. See that again? He's watching my hand. He's focusing on my hand, and I'm putting the kibble back behind him. Now, he either has to do one of two things. He either has to back up or sit down. And what you can do to start him off is when you're given the command sit, see if I can do it here again. Come here, Cody. Up. Come here. Up. Sit. Good boy. You put your one hand on their, on their uh, hind quarters. And you have your kibble in the other hand. And when you have the kibble above their head, she's still watching my hand now. Put the kibble above his head and push down with your hand at the same time and give this command sit. But as soon as his uh, butt sits down on the floor, the instant it sits down, you give him the kibble. And when I say kibble, I'm just using dog food, just you know, a piece of his dog food. I don't go out and buy snacks or anything else. To him, this is a treat. You know, he doesn't care. But, uh, you know, First thing I did when I got him home, well, I guess about two or three days, I uh, let him acclimate himself to the house and then I started training him. And the first thing I did, the basic commands was teaching him how to sit, teaching him his name, and teaching him the word no. That's three basic commands. Now, his name is, he'll catch on to that and sit, he caught on pretty quick, and no, well, he's still a pup. He's 10 months old, you know, he's not gonna be perfect. Uh, lab pups have a lot of spunk in them. And my first lab didn't settle down, but he was close to four years old. So, if you get a lab pup, be prepared for it. But anyway, like I said, you know, the kibble above their head, push down on their butt, give the command sit, and as soon as their butt hits the ground, you reward them with the kibble. But always, always, when you're training a dog, when he does it right, lots of praise, like it's the greatest thing in the world. But if he doesn't do it right, no praise at all. Because if you praise him for doing it wrong or only doing it half right, you're gonna reward bad behavior. And he's gonna acclimate himself to that. So you want it, perfection. I know a dog's not going to be perfect, they're few and far between, but as perfect as you can get it. I'm going to see if I can get Cody to do it again. Come here, Cody. Get him up on all four feet. Cody, sit. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. So like I said, all dogs are different. Uh, some dogs, 
you know, you might have to do that for a couple minutes, a couple hours, a couple days. Uh, that was the first command I gave him was teach him how to sit. And I had him sitting probably, I don't know, half hour, something like that, with his butt, with my hand on his butt and the kibble above his head. And it probably took a couple weeks. I don't know, I'm, I don't remember exactly, but it didn't take too long to teach him to sit on command without holding the kibble above, kibble above his head and pushing down on his butt. You want baby steps. Start, like I said, with his hand, with your hand on his behind and the kibble above his nose and sit, give him the kibble. And then you go to, without your hand on his butt, put the kibble above his head, put it behind and he'll sit. And eventually, you know, no kibble. You know, he's 10 months old. Uh, I don't work with kibble with him a whole lot anymore because I, tr I slowly try to wean him off. Uh, but like I said, this is just what works for me. Uh, so yeah, like I said, uh, I'm not the greatest, I'm not the best. There's professional trainers out there, you look on YouTube, they've been doing it forever. and But that's their only job. Me, I gotta work eight, 10 hours a day and do this. But uh, I just wanted to show you how I do this and hope it works for you guys. And another thing I you do is after you get him to sit, you can give him a hand signal like this, Cody, sit, sit, good boy, good boy. Like I said, that's later in stages, but I just wanted you to give you the basic uh, routine of how to teach your dog to sit. So uh, this is Mike from Guns Hunting, and remember, shoot safely and shoot often.